everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour on it. And let's go over my paints. Uh, my base coat is a combination of the Lucas Krill Studio Titanium White and Pastel Yellow. I just made it a very, very light yellow color. I didn't want to go with just the basic white today. My next color is a color I call Mysterious, and it is a combination of four different colors, a very beautiful blue color. My next paint is Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose. My next paint is Arteza Rose Matter. I just started using this color and it's a very, very beautiful red color, Rose Matter. My next paint is Liquitex Basics, their Quinacridone Magenta. My next paint is an Arteza paint, the Prussian Green. And my last paint is another Arteza Premium Color Prussian Blue. All my paints today were mixed two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and about a quarter part GAC 800 with a squirt of Liquitex a Gloss Medium. No silicone added today, and I did add water. And let's show you consistency here. On the thinner side, because we are doing a Dutch pour, I hope you can see that, again, on the thinner side. So what I'm going to do is um, stop the camera. I'm going to put down my base coat. I'll bring you back, and then we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and I am doing a voiceover for this uh, part of the video. And I have turned my canvas, as you can see, put down the base coat, and here I am just um, laying the paints down to start the uh, Dutch pour. And I am putting some of the base coat around the paint that I did lay down, and I gave it a quick torch. I am fast forwarding this also, so you don't have to watch that much. I did end up having some issues with this blow dryer, so I switched to uh, the world's smallest leaf blower that's called there, the little um, orange blow dryer I'm using. It has a special attachment on it. And here I am just blowing out those colors. And I decided I really did not like that area at the bottom, so I did replace it and put some more base coat down there. And I'm just going to uh, redo that part. That's what's so nice about acrylic pouring, that you can scrape it and redo it. Again, just blowing it out now. I really do like um, how all these colors played together. It, they really did, uh, it really did end up looking pretty nice. And still just blow drying these colors out. And now I, um, I'm using another little uh, apparatus there. I decided that I wanted to uh, change the appearance. Right there, scraped it, added some different colors. Just looking at the composition and giving it a torch here. 
Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And I did work a little bit with this uh, off camera and I, I will um, explain all the areas I worked on. Here I'm just trying to show you the whole painting, which is kind of difficult being that it is uh, a 12 by 24. But let's start up at the top here. And as you can see, I did blow out quite a bit more paint. I added a little more and then blew it out just to get the composition that I wanted. I'm just taking you right down the, uh, the right hand side here. I tried to leave some negative space here and there. Some really pretty areas in here. This is really pretty in here. I just love using that rose matter. Very beautiful color. And I will take you up the middle here. Just going up to the top again. And then over to the right. Pretty area in here. I really do like wispies. And here is the bottom right. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It'll help my channel grow. I have enjoyed you uh, spending time with me today on this Dutch pour, on this 12 by 24 inch canvas. So until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.